Scoop and its various uses. Scoop is a Hapachi Hadoop ecosystem project. Its responsibility is to import or export via operations across relational databases such as MySQL, MSQL, and Oracle to and from HDFS. Let's discuss the various reasons for using Scoop. First, SQL servers are deployed worldwide. A SQL server is the primary way to accept the data from a user. Nightly processing is being done on SQL servers and has been for years. Scoop allows you to move data from traditional SQL databases into the Hadoop HDFS file system as Hadoop makes its way into enterprises. Transferring the data using automated scripts is usually inefficient and time-consuming. So, therefore, Scoop is used in these cases. Traditional databases have reporting, data visualization, and other enterprise built-in applications. However, to handle large data, you need an ecosystem. The need to bring the process data from Hadoop HDFS to the applications such as a database engine or web services is satisfied by Scoop. Scoop is required when a database is imported from a relational database into Hadoop or out again. A relational database, or RDB, refers to any data in a structured format. Databases in MySQL or Oracle are examples of a structured RDB. While exporting databases from a relational database to Hadoop, users must consider consistency of data, consumption of production system resources, and the preparation of data for provisioning that data to a downstream pipeline. While importing the database from Hadoop to a relational database, users must keep in mind that directly accessing data residing in external systems within a MapReduce framework vastly complicates applications. It also exposes the ex production system to excessive loads originating from the cluster nodes operations. In this case, Scoop is required in both scenarios to optimize these transfers. So let's take a look at the benefits of Scoop. One is it transfers data from Hadoop to an RDB and back again. It also transfers data in Hadoop with the help of MapReduce or Hive without writing any extra coding. It is also used to import data from an RDB, such as SQL, MySQL, or Oracle, into the Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS. It can then export this process data back into the original RDB, or any other RDB.